we're going to check out Luna's Fishing Garden. This was in my library. I have no idea where it came from. I have no idea what it's about. But there's fishing. So, we're here to try it out. It looks cute AF. You might have gifted it to me, yeah. I think I think I got it fairly recently. So. Oh, she do be loud though. Luna do be loud. Okay, how's that? You also have it. That's so good. Well, you can try it out now too if you want. How cool would that be? Um, full screen's probably fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Look at this. Right? Look at this. I'm interested. I'm immediately interested. Stuck balling yarn for eternity. Oh no. But then you get the crochet, so that's that's good. Welcome everybody to Luna's Fishing. What's it called? I need to update the game that we're playing. It's so loud! Oh no! Tornado! Oh my god, I gotta bring those sound effects down. Oh my god, I'm being growled at by a spooky man. Huh? Everything went to shit so quickly. I was trying to introduce the game. Okay, hold on. Okay, here we go. Let's bring, let's bring, let's bring everything down a smidge here. And I need to update the game that we're playing. Luna's Fishing Garden. Done. Done. I'm hopefully going to have all of these cut up into their own individual segments on YouTube. So I want to try to make sure that I remember when we're not playing the old game anymore. <laughs> Welcome everybody to Luna's Fishing Garden. We're gonna check it out. This big wolf just is gonna save us because there was a tornado. Hello. Hello. Why is this human in my garden? I do have a little sprout. I've got a brain. I've got a brain tree. Cassie, you say? I asked you why, not who. If I had any power left in me, I'd cast you away in an instant. Oh, grouchy, grouchy puppy. That storm scattered debris and destruction all across my island. But what can I do? Now think, Luna. Oh, your name is Luna. I thought I would be Luna. I'm Cassie. If you want to make yourself useful, gather up any scrap you see. And I might use what little magic I left, have left to help you. I will, well, I will pick up scrap. Lovely. I've done it. Is this also scrap? That was also scrap. What about all the stuff in the water there? I suppose that will do. Take this. Magic leaves. You can now sell your items to Luna. Okay. This must be money. Behold. Oh, we got a boat. Oh, that's cute. I like that. We got a little boat. Seek out jelly bean. I'd like to know how that old <laughs> old sea dog fared. He lives on the next island to the east. He's a master fisherman, so expect a lesson or two from him. Which is good news for you, because if you want my help, I'll need fish. Lots of fish. Well, that's good news for me. Good news for you. Good for good news for everyone. Because we all want fish. Oh, look at him! Wait, can I... I can clean up. I will clean up, then I will begin my fish. Keep the oceans clean, everybody. I don't want to go too far. I want to just keep the... I want to clean up the little spaces right here for now. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Yes, we keep the oceans clean. And we always talk to Jelly Bean. Hello! Ahoy, little fleshy leg friend. That thar, that thar, uh, was the storm of the century, I tell you. So Luna sent you over here to check up on me, eh? 
This hefty seal's still in one piece. Ar, 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 ar. Because he's a seal, do you get it? This is for ye. Save me hide more times than I can count. Now she's all yours. Yes! Now we can fish. You found a clown for Kate today in the Halloween section of Michael's? Michael's has their Halloween stuff out already. Are you kidding? It's not even August yet. I figured August is the earliest. Is it a fun clown? Oh my god, that's exciting. Oh my goodness. Uh, go fish up a bounty. Okay. Old Jelly Bean's doing just fine. That's so good. All right, I'm going to have to make my way out to Michael sometime soon. <laughs> Fun little clown. This guy's just hanging out with a bunch of dead fish. That's good. All right. First catch in this game. What's it going to be? Ah, oh, I just skipped the whole tutorial. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Uh, tell me again. Oh, no. Tell me again. Press and hold the button when the fish is next to... Gah. <laughs> no. There were two full pages of tutorial, and now I don't... Okay. Oh. Okay. Pretty easy to figure out. Most fishing games are... Pretty similar. We did it! We got a guppy! Our first fish. Let's go. First fish in a new game. And it tells you how many, uh, what fish are available. All right, cool. We'll have to try to catch them all. We got a minnow. I love this. That's exactly how happy I am right now. Do I know how many fish I caught last time? I No, I was going to try to keep track of how many. Uh, I, I like twenty maybe. I don't. I don't know. I did want to. I, I wanted to do a counter. That would have been a good idea, to do a how many fish caught counter. I might have to go back and watch to try to figure out how many we had. Uh, task. Return me when you have everything I need. Oh. Okay. Sell items. Oh! Oh! All of the crap that we picked up. I could use a hand clearing more debris from the archipelago. Start with the nearby islands. I don't know exactly how much your little human hands can handle, so I hope that's simple enough. Are we not, like, concerned that we were swept away to a different world and there's now a talking... We're just kind of cool with it. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this feels so nice. Early in the day watching a swirly stream on a weekday in the summer. Like the old days, exactly, yeah. And Dark Cloud 2 was supposed to be the first game on the list, but I didn't have a save file of Dark Cloud 2 that was far enough along to do the fishing, and it would have taken me far too long to get that 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 far into the game to bring it in because that ha dark cloud 2 has such an interesting fishing mechanic but um i might have to do that sometime in the future just as its own separate stream we'll do a little dark cloud fishing look at that a feel for the real catch every fish in one spot we got our first achievement we got we got all four of them we got a catfish a mackerel a minnow and a guppy very cool. And he wants us to keep cleaning, so let's do that. Plus we get paid. Plus we get paid for cleaning. Um, there seems to be a fog blocking our way, so we can't go any farther. But we can do a bit of a cleanup right here. Gather all this scrap, make some sweet, sweet money. Maybe see what's in that lighthouse? It's locked up tight. Okay. The seagulls are cute. I, I, yeah, they're always good. I love to see little seagulls around. Oop. They're just hanging out. Oddly not making any noise. Cash money. 
Jelly beans all right then. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I expected as much. Is that fish I smell? Good. I'll need them to restore my energy, as will most spirits in my garden. Speaking of my garden, compared to what it used to be, it's not much of a garden at all. Seed pouch! No, no. If I had McDonald's, they would be making quite a lot of noise. That's a good point. Um, later in the day, by the way, uh, it will be up to you guys to decide on where I eat supper tonight. <laughs> So around four or five o'clock, we'll start a uh, we'll start a poll, and tonight's option is, I believe, chesses or keeps. It's going to be a versus. So it's going to be up to you guys to decide, uh, and it'll be fish and chips from a you know it'll be fish and chips either either place. Uh, I am a good person, yes. Good people help those indeed. Surely an able-bodied human like yourself can bring a little life back to these islands. You can start by planting at least one cattail and bringing me three cattail seeds. Okay, I can do that. Where do we want to put our first flower? Let's do it like right here. Aw, watermelon! That's a watermelon! We'll do... Oh, they go in the water, right? Of course, naturally. Let's put one... Put one right there. Um, still two out of three islands that I need to clean as well, so let's go grab that that stuff. Oh, Jelly Bean needs to speak with us as well. This is this is excellent already. This is already excellent. I don't know how long this game is. Magnet run. Magnet run anybody? Does this island not count as clean anymore? It, it's just so chill, yeah. So far, so very good. Achievement grind this? Yeah. I don't see why not. Do we get seeds from here now? Oh, that's amazing. We've only got one seed, though. Okay. Return to unit. Oh, right. Okay. Hmm. Let's, uh... Oh, let's see what Jelly Bean has to say. What's up? A meal for the seal. Oh, it's you. And I'm still me. Handsome old Jelly Bean. Arr, 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 arr. You're a saint for helping out Luna. Aye, she can be pricklier than a pufferfish. But she means well, just like ye. Speaking of good intentions, my belly's rumbling like thunder. How about you put me old rod to use to catch a couple of mackerel for your hungry pal? Okay. He is handsome. I agree. I like his hat. I like his hat. I can... Oh, I can probably catch a mackerel here. Again. He said the thing. What was the thing? Oh no! Stop! Oh, I said the thing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I do like his hat. I don't even. <laughs> I don't even realize that I'm saying it. It's so natural. Can I hold more fish? It seems like I can. Two mackerel, is that all he needed? Looks like it. Here you go. Holy mackerel! I'm so happy he said that. I'm so happy he said that just now. Much obliged, little lamb much obliged little lamb lover. That storm really rattled our raincoats, I've gotta say. We even tried casting away the wretched thing. You every one of us spirits. We thought we bested it, but here we are. I suppose it's pointless trying to fight a storm, but at least if it tossed you into my life and you keep tossing fish into me belly, I ain't complaining. Arr, 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 arr. Is this guy a newfie? Uh... Fishing upgrades. Okay. Handle. Reel. Rod. Guides. Line. Hook. Do 
we want to upgrade the handle. I don't know what it does, but it's only 50. So, sure. <laughs> sure. All right, last you had your chance to warm up. Now let's see if you can handle what old Jelly Bean has in store for you. I'll make this an easy one. Reel in two minnows. Bet you can do it in your sleep. Um, yeah, probably. Uh, I've already got one. So I'm already on my way. Quit wiggling. Stop. Holy mackerel. Oh no! Move my fingers a little bit too much there. Holy mackerel. There you go, look, done. Easy quests. I see you landed a couple of minnows already showing the briny deep who skipper are you? In perfect timing too, it's almost lunch. You know, it is actually. How long it's been since me last meal? Since breakfast! Arr, 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 arr. So far so good, little lamb mother. Every fish has been juicier than the last. Real good and meaty, lots of protein. But this time I'd like you to catch something a bit more high carb if you catch me drift. You ever heard of breadfish? <laughs> Excuse me? If you haven't, you have now. I'm thinking two ought to hit the spot. Okay. I'll do what I can. I've not heard of breadfish. I didn't realize that there was a whole other area back here. So let's get this nice and clean. Whilst we can. Seagull! I want to feel. I want to finish the a greener garden quest. Get all the scrap taken care of. Plus money. Seagull. Oh, I fell in. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That you can just go for a quick little little dip, a little dip in the in the pool, and then it's all just fine. Okay, I've got something done. Not that, though. Here you go. It's the seeds he wants. We can get the seeds, or she... There we go. The seeds for you, my lady. And then we'll finish cleaning the scrap, and then boom, just like that, two quests done in one. Oh my god. I'm a fishing magician. Uh, f f fish, fish edition. Brand new class coming to Dragon Quest 64. A fish edition. It's a magician that fishes. Put it in D&D, &D, Matt Mercer. You can buy it from me. <laughs> the area is looking much better already. We're off to a decent start. If only the plant life could be restored to its former glory. Uh, oh, I need to plant another cattail. Can I just click this button? I can. Good. Let's plant... Is this a small or a large? Let's plant a large. Let's put a big one down. Nearby. The already existing. There we go. And then... I may have my doubts about you, Cassie, but it seems you're more than capable. You've earned a bit of gratitude, I suppose. Thank you. And cash money, which is even better. It's time you sought out the remaining spirits. A visit to the lighthouse is in order. You need this key to... Oh? Where is it? Did that storm have to destroy my island and steal my key? Herring. In any case, let's just hope it's unlocked. Uh, it isn't. I tried already. But I guess... That's too bad. Alright. Let's um, grab some more seeds. Cool. What else can we plant? What are we feeling? A lotus? I mean, I don't really want to spend all my money on cosmetics. Before we know. Oh no, I don't want to... No, no. No, no. I don't want to delete any. I don't want to spend all my money on cosmetics before we know what the upgrades do. Let's, uh, let's try to find that breadfish, too, before we move on. I must know about the breadfish. I must know about the breadfish. 
Oh, there it is. One fish, two fish, red fish, bread fish. That could be an interesting incentive. If I can't get my webcam to work, maybe I can stay a PNG tuber and just reassess some of the... Uh, some of the... Uh, Incentives. Maybe I can read one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. But with, with, maybe with, with the, um, the echo thing that you can put on. So that if you, if you read, you get the echo and then you sound silly and dumb. I did it once for, uh, the night before Christmas. Oh, there's a video. Maybe I'll add that. I might have to write that down just in case. You can crotch it a, a fish for a giveaway. Oh my goodness, you don't have to do that. No, that that's alright. I mean, a little fish would be pretty heckin' cute, all the same, but... I do like little fish. I mean, I would want it then. That's the only thing. <laughs> I would I would then want it, because Mimi, Mimi would love a little fish friend. Can I win my own giveaway? We've done that before. <laughs> Shark bait! Ooh, ah. A goldfish? Excellent. I'm so glad goldfish are in this game. I, I don't like it when fishing games don't include goldfish. They're so cute. Well, I'll, I'll leave that up to you, Mel. If you want to do that, I'm down. I can handle the shipping. If you want to make the, if you want to do a fibsh, I can handle the shipping. We can, we can add it to the, uh, to the incentives list. Looky here, you reeled in a couple of them bready bready boys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's not talk about breedy boys. Nicely done, lass. Well, around the topic of strange fish, did I ever tell you about the time I wrestled with the biggest koi I ever saw? Must have been 20. No, 50 feet long with shiny gold scales and a... Hey, where are you going? Bye. You're doing great so far, lass. Giving old Jelly Bean a run for his money, that's for sure. Ar, 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 ar. Let's see if I can catch two goldfish. You know, I had me a pet goldfish when I was a wee pup. Called him Moby Nick. Arr, those were the days. I've already got him. Bouncing barnacles. Are those goldfish I see, Jimra? You're a heck of an angler, kiddo. Ain't ye the cutest little goldfish this side of the 77 seas? Welcome to your new home, Moby Rick and Moby Mick. Excellent. Moby Rick and Moby Mick. Very good names. Solid idea. No fishing tour continuation? No? Odie, I hope your morning's going good. Hope all is well. Let's upgrade the reel. Why not? I don't know what it does or means, but let's do it. We've got another fishing spot finished now as well. I think that's the last fishing spot we can access. Going good so far? Glad to hear it. How long uh, How long do you have with, with, with the baby gun? Must be nice to get some time to relax. We pick them up tomorrow morning. Okay, so you've still got, my goodness, a full day ahead of you. To just relax and chill and take a break. I love that. That's good. It's locked. Run an errand in the... Uh... Um... They weren't here. <laughs> earlier. Where did they come from? Hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fine, Mel. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for the lurk. Appreciate it. Good luck with your errand. I hope it goes well. Um, they might be here to do a murder. I'm not sure. Monkey. Yeah. I don't know why there's three of them. It was locked indeed, yeah. For Gaia's sake. Well, that'll have to wait for now. Some friends of mine just happened to show up. Okay, it's the friends. Thank goodness. They're merchants from a far-off land who deal in just about everything. If, every, if anyone has a spare key, it's them. Athos. Whoa, a human. 
for the three monketeers. Do you want to that noise? What is that noise? Any friend of hers is a friend of ours. Once we saw that crazy storm heading this way, we sailed over here as soon as we could, but uh, we got lost. Twice. Three times. Right, three times. And we kind of ate all our food on the way here. Hate to ask, but could you bring us some bananas, mate? Is this game nut? Monkey. Did he trip? Is, did he make his way over here? He just said, mate. I feel like that's the thing. Game nut would say. Monkey three, monkey do banana. <laughs> Solid quest name. I don't know where to get bananas, unfortunately. Do I plant them? Banana tree? Banana tree! But I can't afford it. So I need to fish. I must fish. I'm glad I figured that out on my own. This game is adorable. Has anybody played this game yet? Has anybody seen this game before? I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it so far. Is the lore that you're tiny? They haven't mentioned, no. These are these are spirits. They're like they're spirits. So I think I think I'm normal size. <laughs> Should I say the lure? See, that's what I thought you said initially. <laughs> then I was confused. Uh, okay, we can buy a banana tree. Where do we want to put the banana tree? Probably not like on the same island right in front of them, right? Maybe let's let's put it back on this one. Maybe like right here. I don't know if it matters. Grow it on them? I mean, I, I probably... Let's, you know, let's give it a try. Plant it right in front of them so they'll know. They'll always know where the bananas are. They'll never forget. Let's see. Ah, oh, we can't. We can't put it on this island at all. Okay. Boo worms. Do we sell the seeds? We do sell the seeds. Okay, so it, it is a good thing that I'm picking up the seeds. Lame. We'll have to write to the creators. We'll have to write to the creators. Do a big complain. Oh, uh, we loved your game, Luna's Fishing Garden. It's fantastic. But how come we couldn't plant a banana tree on top of the three monkey brothers? Because I was really hoping to do that. Jumped off an island into the ocean three times. Yes. Achievements. How many more are there? How many, how many times must I take the nesty plunge before there's another achievement? 25 times? Okay, maybe not. I don't know how long it takes for bananas to grow. Oops. Does it say? 45 seconds? Oh, it generates 35... Or it generates 30 leaves per 45 seconds. Ah, oh, there they are. Banana. And then we just wait, I guess. For six of them. I wonder if there will be a way to, like, auto-harvest these things later. Because that would be really cool. Because right now, like, you could, you could go fishing and then come back every time the bananas grow, but they grow so fast you kind of don't want to leave and have to come back every 45 seconds. You know what I mean? But you also don't want to wait here for what's 45, 45 times 6? 90 times 3? Whatever that is. Maybe, maybe we will try to do a little bit of fishing in between. Maybe, maybe there will be some way for us to harvest the bananas from down here. Because even that would be a little bit better. I don't know. We'll have to see what our upgrades are going to look like. Okay, 
we didn't sell the bananas, which is good to know. Let's do a quick fish while we wait. Yeah, catfish. By the time we get back up there now, I'm sure it'll, the bananas will be ready. Yep. I think we're halfway done. Maybe it was maybe it would have been a better idea to put the banana tree here <laughs> at the beginning so we don't have to walk all the way there. <clears throat> we know now for the future. That's no cat. No, I know. It's no moon. It's a catfish. No, I haven't tried harvesting from the leaf. No, good good point. We'll 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 do that this time. Cause if you can harvest from down here, that'd be huge. I've got a suspicion that you won't be able to though. Come on, bananas. Yeah, no. You gotta go up there. For now you've gotta go up there. Can I relocate? <laughs> Dang. It's great. Next tree we plant. We'll just plant towards the beginning. And now I've got a helpful tip to tell anybody who might pick up this game and think, hey, maybe I'll put the bananas at the end of the thing here. I'll tell them, no, don't. Save yourself some time. have what you want yet. Almost, though. It's, it's, it's truly amazing how... Uh, you take, like, BattleBit, for example. BattleBit and games like this, like, they don't need to be incredibly graphics-intensive to be fun. You just need a good gameplay idea, and then you just need to flesh out that idea in ways that not necessarily people have never done before, but just, you know, in a, in a new, unique way. And then, boom, you've got a fun game. I don't know why these AAA publishers are always so concerned about the freaking graphics. Just always. Like, this is perfectly acceptable. That that fishing, fishing island or whatever game we started playing earlier, the realistic fishing sim that is totally fine i think that definitely has a place clearly we we had three or four people uh, show up that were playing it but um i don't think you need to focus on just graphics you know only way to justify all the money that's involved uh, i suppose so yeah like you look at pokemon scarlet and violet right that was clearly graphics in a way that you don't want them to go. But then you look at Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild and I would argue like Animal or like Animal Crossing New Horizons I think was beautiful and Mario Kart 8 beautiful. Like you can look good without looking realistic. But I've always thought that way. I'm not, you know, a bit of a Nintendo fanboy anyway, so Which a lot of people use to just throw your argument into the garbage in, in the first place, so. No, uh, Nintendo fanboy, you only care about blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I, I, I think it is mostly the uh, executives, the, the higher-ups that are in charge. The shareholders. The ones that don't know what a Call of Duty is, but knows that it gets them millions of dollars every year. Do, 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 do. Have some new music stuck in my head. All right, I've got your bananas. Holy potassium! There should be plenty for the turn trip on. We oh, please don't speak ever again, Aramis. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, maybe dial it back and not. Yeah, please, thank you. Anyway, Cassie, was it? Luda filled us in on what happened. So we found. This aboard the Prime Mate, 
their ship is called the Prime Mate. That's amazing. We got a key to the lighthouse. We can clear the fog. Don't want to think where we'd be without you, mate. You really saved our tails. Long live Cassie, savior of the seas. Cool. Yeah, tri other AAA studios are totally different than Nintendo. But can you imagine if there was a game studio that came out with a game that was, you know, on the same level as, like, a Call of Duty with, like, zombies and stuff like that. But it had, like, stylized graphics so that everything was, like, cell shaded or something. And it just looked really fucking cool instead of just grim grays and browns and realistic war sim. Like, I would, I would go mad for that. I think that's why I liked Halo so much because Halo at least had some color in it, you know? It was different. Um, we can't afford to extend its reach. So we'll do a bit more fishing. Again, I just... The realism is just not for me. And I just... I, I'm ju I, just, I just like how this game looks. It's just pretty. Uh, Destiny, how you doing? Hello. Uh, this game is freaking adorable. And Halo... Yes, Halo was, was quite sci-fi as well. Which I think also helped me like it a bit more. Because I've never been one for war movies or war stories or anything like that. So, Halo just kind of hit closer to home, I think. Yeah, we've got a little sprout. We've got a little sprout hat, which is pretty adorable. This is Luna's Fishing Garden. We got swept away in a tornado, and now we, we are helping these magical spirits uh, regain their power by catching fish. All part of the weekend-long subathon that we're doing right now which is going to feature all fishing games only only fishing all all weekend we are on game number two so far having a great time we can carry a lot more fish than i thought we did i guess it's because our pockets aren't filled with bananas I want to be swept away by a tornado to help spirits. I know, right? Doesn't that sound like a good weekend? It just sounds like a good time. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that cash money. Ugh. And now we can unlock the uh, lighthouse, which will, I assume, push the fog farther away, revealing more fishing spots and maybe a new spirit, perhaps? Whoa! Two new islands. Ooh. And a new spirit. Good day, Amber. Hello, hello, hello. How you doing? You've played this before. I'm loving it so far. I'm having a great time. I can't... Look at this owl! This neckerchief. Hello! Nigel! What marvelous specimen have we here? Large cranium, opposable thumbs, bipedal. Unless you're particularly hairless, a crafty possum, I'm gazing upon the genuine human. Scree! Oh, no. Uh, any idea how long the game is, Amber? You think I could finish this in one sitting? I might aim for the magnet. I'm, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. <laughs> I might aim for the magnet. We've got the time to kill today, so why not, I say. My name is Nigel, wildlife specialist and researcher. I had a field journal, but sadly the storm claimed it. Perhaps you can help me complete a new one. I would love to. Bring me any seven unique items you encounter on this archipelago. In return, I'll upgrade your backpack's capacity. Oh my god, I love that. You went 100%ed it in two hours, 40 minutes? Alright, challenge accepted. Get the magnets ready, everybody. We are completing... Luna's fishing, uh, fishing garden today. Uh, here. Take. Oh. Take. Oh. <laughs> you don't want the trash. Okay, that's fine. I am regularly confused with a hairless and crafty possum. Common mistake? Yeah. I've heard it happens quite often, yeah. So I, I feel you. Jelly Bean's got new quests for us as well. So does Luna. Good stuff. Uh, and a new, a, a new quest. A new quest. 
I sincerely hope you're not just letting him wade around in soil. No, I'm not. It's fine. Uh, he's an academic. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll clean up all the rubbish. No, no, no big deal. Just grab some of these seeds real quick. Thank you for checking that, Amber. Appreciate it. We might... We might shoot for two magnets today. I don't want to overshoot myself. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to oversell myself, because I was, I was having trouble getting audio to work while streaming from the Oculus last night. So I don't know if we'll actually be able to play the VR game that I want to play. But we will. We're gonna heck and try. And if we can play that, if if bait VR works, then I'm going for the I'm going for the magnet on that one too. Um. For those who don't know, whenever I finish a game on stream, I get a magnet and put it on my fridge. And my magnet... I, I, we just hit magnet number 70, so I'm itching to collect a few more while we're here. All right, lass, me belly's rumbling something fierce again. Gonna make a hefty meal out of your next haul. I'm in the mood for me favorite, some eel. Me mouth's watering, just picturing those slippery scoundrels. Okay, I guess we can get eel in the new fishing hole that we just unlocked. So I don't think we've seen eel yet, have we? No. No, 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 no. This fishing hole has five places. And the other ones only had four. I love the idea of getting a backpack upgrade. That just sounds amazing. And I guess this is another island that we can put, um, put more crops on. A lot more trees that we can go for. A lot more, uh, I wonder if this will give us pearls. Oh yeah, it tells us. This will generate five money every 18 seconds. Five money every 15 seconds. Ten every 25. Twenty every 40. Okay, I get it now. And the trees are more but take longer. Makes sense. And we don't have whatever this is unlocked yet. Okay, cool. All right. I'm starting to understand. I'm starting to understand the processes. G'day, Nigel. G'day, g'day. The less we have to keep coming back here to do this, the better as well. We'll go, we'll grab that last, the last of that garbage, and then we'll grab some seeds and bananas after we sell the garbage to bring back to Nigel. We're going to get some fish as well, because he wants one of every fish. Oop, oop, oop. Oh, I remember I may have taken creative license with the console commands to get some of the achievements, so it might take longer to complete. Oh, well, I, I only need to complete, like, the main story, as long as I can grab the credits. I don't I don't need to 100% the game. Just got to trigger some end credits, that's all. So we certainly don't need to go for the, uh, for the 100%. But, listen, it's not going to stop me from trying. That's still not going to stop me from trying. We'll still have a go. This exceeds my expectations. The day is young. I'd only ever heard stories of humans before you came along. You're different than I thought you'd be. I hope that's in a good way. Traditionally, humans don't have leaves growing out of the tops of their heads. So I'm special. I'm special. Give these to Nigel. We'll try to grab a few fibs on our way. Try to get a backpack upgrade or two. It's feeling it's this this seems more of like a this would be a really good mobile game. Increase those timers to like, you know, hours instead of in-game seconds. And then you've got yourself a nice little mobile game. Check in every now and then to harvest all of your plants and do a little fishing and then... What was he on? Oh, 
a guppy. Okay, let's see what Nigel wants from our stash right now, and uh, see if we can get an upgrade out of him. Destiny, how's your day going? How's everybody's Friday going? Is everybody uh, chill, relaxed, having a good time? How do I... Oh, there we go. Now he's got a banana, cattail, guppy, minnow, catfish. Okay. And I guess everything that he didn't take, I've still got with me. Lovely. There was nothing left over here, right? Yep. So let's dig into this new fishing hole. Let's see what we can get. We need two eels, right? At the very least. There's one. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Oh, we got a flounder. He's in that one movie. The dance after catching a, catching a fish is freaking adorable. I love the animation. Very well done. Look at that. Look at that. La -di -da. La -di -da. La -di -da. We caught a uh, we caught a white bass earlier, and there's our there's our first black bass. Very cool. I'm going to have to watch back through this entire subathon, just try to figure out how many fish we've caught, because I want to get a I want to get a command set up to add. I want, a, I want a total... How many fish can we catch throughout the duration of this uh, sub, subathon? Subathon. At least two. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Well, the way I'm seeing it is we caught... We caught, f like, four or five every trip in Fishing Planet earlier. So how many trips did we take? I don't know. That's the issue. I'll have to go back and watch. We'll get a, we'll get a timer set up for tomorrow. An axolotl? Oh my goodness, you're quite far up to be caught. But hello, sir. You're, mo you're more than welcome to be here. Adorable little guys. Sorry for using a hook. <laughs> Uh, you don't mind? Thanks a lot, Alaxolotl. Where do they put those in Minecraft? Okay, inventory full? Nope, not yet. Oop. Ah. My timing's a little off. You might be able to take one more thing, yeah? Oh, splendid! I'll begin recording our new findings at once. Please, take this. Let's go! Bigger backpack! I'm actually a bit concerned. Ever since the storm, Gaia, our great guardian spirit, has been all but silent, Scree. It may behoove you to locate Sam. He's the leading scholar on all Gaia-related matters. Okay. The field journal is off to a grand start, but I'd very much like to see more. Could you gather five new specimens? Once I get my claws on more research subjects, we'll see about enhancing that backpack of yours fuller. Oh, excellent. 18 slots now. So let's see if we can't get him the rest of what's in this fishing hole. If we haven't already. Bit of a wiggle. There we go. What does he still need from this fishing hole, I wonder? That would be nice, to have a little icon on the fish to say whether or not it's been donated or not. I wonder if I've, it's there or not. I've just missed it. Let's see. Does it tell me? No. Doesn't tell us. 
we can go have a look ourselves. This is a pretty unique fishing minigame as well. It seems pretty basic, but like at the same time, I've never seen a minigame that's done this way before. It's definitely on the simpler side, but I'm a fan. Oh. Whoa. Inventory full. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what we need to get this guy. Nothing new to add. From that lake spot. Okay, these must be all the fish in the game then. 22 fish. Okay. That seems doable. Look at this. Is that an ore fish? Looks like an ore fish to me. Cool. We can... Uh, fishing tour is done. Give Jellybean his eels. Here you go, sir. Great guys be. You brought old Jellybean a meal of eel. Arr, 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 arr. You made this day go from good fruit to great, you little land mother. Now, if you don't mind, this mouth's got a date with some sushi. A meal fit for a cap. Yar, I be stuffed. Let's make your next catch a proper sporty one. I want to see how you stack up against black bass. Reel a couple of those in, and I'll know for sure I'm dealing with a pro. Well, guess what I've got? I've already got them. I don't know whether to be impressed or jealous. There's some fine-looking bass, Cassie. Maybe I should start calling you Bassy. R R R R R. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you, Jelly Bean. Um, you can have whatever I've got left. Uh, we need to gather one of everything now from the fishing holes that we have access to, which is probably here. What do we need? We need a guppy, a minnow, a mackerel, and a catfish. Right, let's try to grab one of each. Probably grab more than one of each, but we'll grab at least one of each. We'll do the same for the other watering hole. I guess we'll see how how much it's gonna want us to donate to the uh, lighthouse to get that um, opened up. We gotta go. We gotta go visit another spirit. Okay, we just need a guppy. Have you guys ever had? Oh, look at that. Have you guys ever had fish? Have you have you had pet fish in a fish tank before? Had them a few times myself. Goldfish, sea bream, and a breadfish. I've never had such a thing as a breadfish. Usually just, usually just goldfish. Smaller, smaller things. I've never had a tropical tank. I've always wanted a tropical tank. But I've never had one. Tropical tanks are high maintenance. You used to have a, a pond with fish in. That's really cool. It's a good place for fish. They like it there. I think I'd like to have something like that sometime in the future. Utterly magnificent. Magnificent. Let's see here. Yes, very good. These will do nicely. Now, if you'll just hand me that backpack of yours. Oh, no, the upgrade. Let's go. Let's go. We went from 18 to 21. I mean, I, it's four more, I guess. I'll take it. Fine start. Clearly, I made no mistake taking you under my wing. Next, find six new samples. I'll restart. I'll research backpack expansion techniques in the meantime. Okay, we, we're going to have to start planting some stuff now, too. 
We'll do the lighthouse first, and then we'll start planting some stuff. Seven hundred and fifty. Let's plant some stuff first. Let's see if we can get some, um, maybe like a new tree down. We've got some reeds, so we don't need any more of those. What other trees can we buy? Avocado? Do we want free shivaka do? Let's get one of those there. Um, and let's get some sea stuff down. Let's let's get a lotus. Why not? Let's get some lily pads. Maybe over this way further. Like so. And like a pearl clam, we can grab one of those as well. Next to the lily pad, perhaps. Some bam. Let's grab. The, we want we want the watermelon. We gotta get the watermelon. Let's put that somewhere over this way. Boom, right at the beginning. Um. All right, cool. What don't we have? We don't have bamboo yet, do we? There we go. Avocado! And then a lotus seed. And a pearl. A pearl. And then some bamboo. Whenever that's ready. All these as new donations to the giant owl. And of course, a watermelon. all about that backpack upgrade. We're gonna just stuff it with fish now too because we just spent all of our money. Humans can be surprisingly efficient when they want to be. Thanks, Cassie. I'll analyze these samples right away. But first things first, your backpack. What do we think? Is it at 25? 24! The upgrades get worse every time. Uh, I try to keep things interesting. Now then, by the time you return with seven new additions. Okay. Seven new things. But we're all out of new fishing holes to fish in now, so we're going to have to put a back burner. Put that quest on the back burner. We'll just stock up on some fish now and try to get to that 750 to unlock the uh, lighthouse. Push this fog away a bit more. Oh, 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 come on. What does Jelly Bean want right now? He doesn't, um, he doesn't want anything right now. Not until we get the fog pushed, I guess. A beta? Never had a beta fish. I always heard they were very aggressive, and you couldn't really have them with other fish, and I didn't really think it was very nice to just have one fish. It seems lonely. So I never did get, get a beta. Oh! Really nice fish to look at, though. Beautiful colors. I would normally wait for the stable release fish. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's a few fish that I that I managed to grab in alpha, but beta, no. Not many developers release uh, release that many hot fixes for beta fish. You know, that's the problem. How much money are we gonna get for a full backpack of fish? Hmm. Be 750, I wonder. What? There we go. 
I already don't know how long we've been playing this game. I think we did... I have no idea. Hour? An hour, give or take? Whoa. It's wild, because right now, if you're watching this on YouTube, you already know how long I play this game for. And have played this game for. But me, saying this right now, I have no idea when this when we're going to finish. And currently, I don't have any idea of when we started. <laughs> so if you're watching this on YouTube, you, you know all sorts of stuff that current me has no idea about. But future me will know all about. Time travel. Just go for another 10 hours? Yeah. Yeah. The Steam overlay would tell you, but might also show up on Steam and leaked messages. Oh, right, yeah. I can also tell you from the playtime from your profile. Oh, right, I forgot that was a thing, too. I, I don't... It, it's fine. I'm, I'm guessing it's been roughly about an hour. I, um... We'll move on to VR around... Either when... Oh, God. This one's a tough, tough biter. There we go. Whenever we finish this game is when we're going to move to move on to VR. That's that's the goal. Get those credits. Of that, I wish. I hope there are. Some games don't have credits. Already with these backpack upgrades, I'm like, oh my god, when is it? When is it gonna fill up? Come on! Ah, there we go. All full. All right, let's double check, make sure that we don't have anything that we need to donate, and let's make some sweet, sweet loot. So, oh, okay, so Lionel didn't want, or Nigel didn't want the pearl. Not good enough for his museum, I suppose. He did take the water Malone, though. Oh, oh, so close to 750. All right, let's just grab some seeds and stuff. Sell this last bit, a little bit of stuff, and then we'll that should give us enough for what we need. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we'll go activate the lighthouse. Yes. Ooh, we're going the other way now. Mysterious. Sam is who we're going to go try to find. I'm coming for you, Sam. What do we think Sam is going to be? What kind of animal? Eagle? I'm thinking Muppets. Maybe... Maybe like a raccoon? Or something like that? Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! Okay. All right. He's a koi. He's a big, big, big koi boy. Oh. Just came out of nowhere, didn't he? Jesus. All right. Okay. Well, hi there, Sam. How you doing? Mmm. Between dreams of ships sailing among the clouds, I've been watching you helping the spirits and reviving the garden. This is good. You are good. You deserve something. Good. Something I found in another world. In another life. Oh, is it a Game Boy? Was it $60? <laughs> I wanted a Game Boy. Like the others, my power is quite weak. May this woeful wish... Sorry. May this woeful fish wish for a dish? <laughs> yes. Unlike the others, I'm a proud vegetarian. I cannot eat fish. That would be... 
cannibalism. And also not good. There should be more Muppet characters in video games. I agree. Put Sam the Eagle in Fortnite. Is 10 coconuts too much to ask for? I certainly hope not. I mean, I've got to grow a whole tree just for that. Ugh. Coconuts. And it's an expensive tree, Sam. Alright, we'll do our best. He's a giant fish, after all. Oh, he came out of the sea. <laughs> Do you want me to clean up his area? No? You don't seem to care. Did we unlock a new fishing hole? Surely. Surely? Kind of, but we... No, we didn't. Paint. Guess we'll just have to do some more fishing. What was it? Six, six hundred, six hundred and twenty? Okay, we can do that fairly easily. I don't know if these fish sell for more or not, but we're just going to keep using this hole here. I assume because they're far farther along, they do sell for more, but I don't know. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. What Muppet would you put in what game? If you could take any Muppet and replace them with a character in any video game, what Muppet would you pick and what game would it be? I would, I would take Kermit. I would take Kermit and I would replace him in the role of Master Chief. Both green, see? It's not easy being green. I bet John could relate to that, you know? It's perfect. I wouldn't do I wouldn't do Miss Piggy Cortana though. Although it could work. It could work. That would probably be perfect as well, honestly. What other female pup Muppets are there? There's the there's the person from the band, but I don't exactly know what they identify as, so I don't want to assume. I guess I guess Miss Piggy could be Cortana. I wouldn't I don't see any problem with that. Uh what about like Mario and Luigi? Who who would make good Muppets? For Mario Ernie and Bert? Sesame Street technically counts as Muppets, right? That's Jim Henson. It's all Jim Henson. You could do like an Ernie and Bert for Mario and Luigi, or you can do like a like a Gonzo and Rizzo. That could be fun. Statler and Waldorf. Oh, that that's also very good. That is also very good. That is also very good. Koopas. That's what they'd say. That's who Nintendo go needs to go for next. Is get the Muppets doing some of their properties. They had they had the Star Fox puppets at E3 that one year. May it rest in peace. We're getting into the vibe of it now, see? It's 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 very relaxing. 
once you understand how a game works and the tricks and the intricacies, you just kind of sit back and enjoy. Enjoy the fibs. I like it when there's no, like, excess management in a fishing game. Like, right now, we're not worried about, oh, I need money for bait, or, you know, like, oh, my line snapped and I ran out, I gotta go get more. Like, that, that's just, all, all that is just annoying. It's real, and it's true, but it's annoying. Can you imagine if one of the spirits came over and was like, you don't have the proper fishing license to sell bass. You're under arrest. <laughs> like what? Consumables always stop you liking cozy games. Some of them handle it well. I think I think the fishing in Stardew Valley is pretty solid because I mean, once you get a bait box, I mean, you can set up 20 bait boxes and then it's not really an issue. But there are some games, Animal Crossing, for example, where making the bait is such a pain in the ass. Sunday should be fun. <laughs> Speaking of. Uh, but yeah, there are, there are good examples and bad examples, right? Just like everything else. Beta fish acquired. Inventory filled. Oh my goodness, we've got so many fibs. Let's just double check, make sure we don't have anything he wants. -da -da. We needed 600 and something to get a coconut tree started. I kind of want to do some fishing in one of these earlier fishing holes as well, just to compare the fish prices, because I think all of these sell for 20. Oh no. They're all a variety of different numbers. Okay, cool. Good to know. Okay, let's get a coconut tree for Sam. We might as well grab some coconuts while we're here. Or bananas, avocados, what are they? Coconuts are one every minute, so we'll have to we'll have to come back and check in on those. Sell, 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 sell. Let's see how much these sell for. So like I said, I'm assuming these sell for less. But I don't really know. Holy mackerel! So I think everything from that farther fishing hole was selling for like 22 to like 32. What do these sell for? Oh yeah, <laughs> okay. Three, seven, three, five. Yeah, so it's the farther away fishing hole that we want to be fishing in for sure. But we need, um, we need to focus on those cucumbers. Cucumbers? Coconuts. Please. We need 10, we need 10 of them. In order to collect them all, we'd have to stand here for 10 minutes and keep coming back. Goodness me. So I guess they do want you to keep coming back as opposed to standing around, but man, oh man. Maybe there was an island over here that I could have put the coconuts on? Like maybe we could have put the coconuts here instead. At least then we could have kept an eye on them. Oh well. We need six more unique items as well. 
So our first coconut should honestly go to the professor here. No more fish we can give him. Or I suppose we could we could plant plant some of these things here that we haven't planted yet either. For an investment. A capybara house helps gather resources from the water. What on earth? Sorry, pardon me? That sounds good. Does it collect all of the water collectibles into the one spot? That would be huge. We've got everything except the crab trap, so let's get a crab trap. Put it here. Just keep our eye on it. How long does that replenish? Every 60 seconds. It's the same as the coconuts. Okay. So we watch the crab trap, and once there's a new crab, we know there's also a new cocoa nut. Very good. Wah! Then we'll look into seeing what that capybara thing does, because that, that might be cool. Maybe a little capybara comes out, does a little bit of a swim around, and collects all the water stuff for us? That would be cool. Bit of an investment, of course, but, I mean, that's what these games are about. You fish to make money to upgrade yourself, so you can fish more to make more money, so you can upgrade yourself even further. Which, I, I love that, that game play loop. It's so good. It's a crab! Gotcha. Mr. Krabs. Okay, so that's a new thing we can give to the guy as well. So we'll go grab the... We'll grab the coconut and we'll bring it back to the scientist man and then our hunt for 10 coconuts can begin. Sounds a lot like idle games. It is a lot like idle games, yeah. I like having something to do though. I don't like the idle part of idle games, which is weird. That's why I like Harvest Moon because I like, I like doing the work and then getting the upgrades. Idle game, I always just forget check idle games clicker games that are more active are there yeah cookie clicker and stuff I suppose yeah and other examples did he not take the coconut oh he did did he not he didn't take the crab. Let's see. So the crab was not a new one. There's already another crab. So does that mean there's already another coconut? <gasps> so did we keep our coconut? We did. Cool. Ten idle games at once. You're constantly switching between them doing things. Oh my goodness. I think my brain would implode. I think my brain would melt. I'm trying to do that many idle games at once. Like I said, I, I lose interest and get bored of an individual idle game. I think my mind would go into meltdown. I'm trying to do ten at once. I, I do. It is one of my favorite things of the day, though, to see Amber just log in to all the idle games in the mornings or whatever. It's so good. <laughs> That's very good. I hate that this is here. Alright. Let's see what this capybara thing is. I wish it would tell you what it does. Let's put it... Let's put it, like, right... Right here, next to the little lily pad. Oh! Oh my goodness! I expected them to swim around. I didn't know they'd have their own little boat. Does that go get into my inventory, or do they ha they have their own inventory? And then I guess I can probably come gather it from them. It automatically sells it for me. That's incredible. And they just go out every now and then. 
And there must be a range. Oh, that's so cool. Good to know. Good to know. So our money will just slowly go up from that. I need more coconuts, though. I keep coming back here to fish, but by the time I get back here to fish, we've got to go back for the coconuts. So I think we're probably just better off staying back here for now. If we want to get this coconut progress done and taken care of. I want to watch the capybaras. I wonder if they have a range or if they have, like, an inventory. So they swim around until their inventory... Yeah, that must be it. Until their inventory is full, and then they sell everything. Look at that. 85 bucks. If I had known all of this, I would have put down everything next to each other. But I didn't want it to look messy. so cool. I like that. I'm very pleased with that. Whilst we wait here to see our coconut harvest. Ah. Ah. I didn't realize. Six more. Six minutes left. Oh my goodness. There's nothing else that we haven't planted yet, right? There's no second... I mean, there's whatever this is. Forty... Thirty-five... Twenty-five... We could put a watermelon over here. Are we going to afford another capybara house now as well? I don't think we need that, though. We don't have that much stuff growing that quickly. I think it's doing all right for now. Coconut, coconut. Aha! All right, we're halfway there. Grab some stuff and sell. But not not that stuff. I don't really know what we need the money for now, though, all the same. Oh my god, it's... Yeah, okay, so they must have an inventory, because they're going all the way over here now. To harvest, I'm assuming, the crab? That's a long trip, capybaras. I'm sorry, I, <laughs> I should not have put this over here. Are they going to make the trip? Oh, they are, though. That's so good. I love them. Catch a flounder, and then we'll go back, because... Coco nuts. Grab the crab. Hashtag grab the crab. I can't believe that it auto sells. That's that's more than I ever imagined. All right. Four more. The money do be coming in though. Up to a thousand now. Simple as that. We could, um, we could get another tree going. 
I mean, we've got the money. Might as well. That, that gets us one more unique item closer as well. Once we get the harvest. I wonder if there will be... I wonder if this is like a coconut. I wonder if we can get like a monkey maybe to grab all the stuff from the treetops just like the capybaras did. That'd be cool. Then I won't hate the placement of this damn banana tree so much. Look at them. Just, they're just little sailor guys. They're just doing a big sail. Oh my goodness. I'm going Coco Nutty. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. The, what is that? What kind of tree did I plant? I can't even pronounce it. Faith. Kim, Faye, get underneath Trudy. No, man, please. Oh my goodness, I freaking Timmy. hate Trudy. Mathematical! Finn, you're terrible at math. Ah. This cosmic dance. And we got the rare one. The rare alert. Held permissions twists oh. all our arms collectively, but if sweetness can win, and it can, then I'll still be here tomorrow to high-five you Yesterday, my friend. Peace. Peace. Zimby, thanks so much for the three gifted subs. You have reached your quota, everybody. Zimby is now no longer allowed to gift any more subs to this channel. You heard it here first, okay? He's now gifted a total of 69 subs in the channel. And I think that is pretty nice. Thank you, Zimby. I hope work is going well. Uh... We are having a solid, jolly good time here uh, in Luna's fishing garden, and we are just really chill about it. We're, we're working towards a, a magnet. Um, also, that's three more subs. We are very, very close to one, two, three. We are one sub away now from our first uh, incentive being unlocked, which can be seen here. The open gate protocol. And thank you guys so much for the nine gifted subs so far already. That's huge. Uh, well, one resub and eight gifted subs. Because I believe Odie's was a resub. Home from work now. Congrats. Oh, that's amazing. That's great. Now you've got the whole day to yourself for activities. Martin Sugar, Delica Pizza, and Choop Choop Train all gifted subs from Zimby there as well. So that's good. I know all three of those people. Personally. <laughs> I personally know them. So much room for activities. Exactly. What 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 are your plans for the rest of the day? What are you what are you, what's on the docket? What's the weather like? Is it a nice day? Are you going out anywhere? It's a Friday, are you getting getting plastered? A few few bevies? A few bevies on the weekend? We've got to deliver these coconuts to this large koi. You have a true talent for caring, Cassie. I almost feel loved. Almost. Okay, Ice King. Oh, balloons fly between islands. That's amazing. Don't need to use the boat anymore, I guess. You're going to go fishing in Skyrim. Oh, that's such a good idea. Yes, if you guys decide to play any of your own fishing games today, please let me know and because I'm, I'm curious to see what what you guys go to when it comes to the fishing game. Nigel was wise to send you to me. Guy's absence has indeed been strange. I feel like it may be related to the elms. That sapling on Luna's Island, before the storm, it was a mighty Gaia's elm. The elms and Gaia are connected by some mysterious power. You'll want to pay it a visit. Okay, I can do that. Wait, you've got another quest for me, though. I dreamt of apples not long ago. Alas, as the vision faded, so too did my hope flicker away to whatever, to wherever hope goes to die. Jesus. Apples do not grow on these islands, but many other things do. Many delicious things. I have more to share from where ships sail the skies. Bring me some avocados, and I'll make 
it worth your while, okay? I can do that. I got them here. Let's try these balloons. What the heck is gonna happen? I assume I just run off the edge? Yay! Oh, that's so good. Uh... Am I supposed to visit all of the things? Can I fly over here too? Oh my god, that's so good. Hi, Jelly Bean. That's so cool. And then... Ah, oh, all the way over here. I think I just sold a bunch of stuff that I should have given to him, though. Oops. The boat is faster, though. <laughs> I like that you can call the boat from wherever you happen to be as well. That's good. Uh, I guess we'll just wait for the avocado. We're just waiting for trees to grow at this point. This is less of a fishing sim and more of a wait for the trees to grow sim. I do want to keep growing these trees, though, because I don't want to have to wait. Uh, so we'll do grapefruit next. Tree, tree island. Tryland. And naturally, of course, we can't fit all the trees on the one island, so we're going to have to put one tree, two trees, on their own island. Which is fine. Actually, you know what? Let's wait around here until all of these trees respawn, because we're gonna take all of that stuff up to the uh, up to the owl, because we might have a f enough thing, new things on us now, to um, unlock another backpack upgrade. What do we have? I don't think he's had that before. So I think he's. I think we'll be able to give him three new things. Lemons, grapefruit, and faya. Oh my god, he's so goddamn cool! You gosh darn right I am. How's it going, Whale Thumbs? What's up, my friend? Hello! Welcome to the Subathon Fishathon. Where we're playing games all weekend, but only fish. Big Pog, I agree. Do you have a do you have a game that you like to fish in? Is there a game that you prefer? The fishing mini game. I only need one more avocado. We can wait the 50 seconds. No big deal. Zimby's just told me he's gone off to play uh, fishing in Skyrim. I didn't even consider Skyrim as a, as a fishing one. Um, Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing. Those games are fairly obvious when it comes to fishing. Harvest Moon. Sea of Thieves has fishing, which we will be exploring tomorrow. The fishing in Skyrim isn't great, to be honest, but it's on brand for me. Are there different types of fish? Is there like a fish index in Skyrim? Or is it just you caught a fish and it's labeled as fish and there are no different kinds of fish? Sam, I've got you your avocados. And the sapling is withered, yeah. I forgot to, I should probably mention that first. Only one of the, only one being on these islands truly knows the connection between Guy and the elms, the gardener. She may be the key to solving this mystery and helping you find your way home. So ripe, I could practically eat the skin, but that's disgusting and I will not do that and neither should you. Yes, don't eat avocado skin. I'm a coy of my word, so please take this, but try not to fly too high, little friend. Unless, of course, you're looking for apples. Balloons are faster now. Oh my god. All right, just upgrade after upgrade after upgrade. Now I'm thinking about apples again. My stomach is as empty as my heart. If you bring me grapefruits, I'll be in your debt. Okay. I will. We've got a grapefruit tree all ready to go. In fact... 
Nope, I don't have any on me. Now I do. That was my Steam notification sound. Yes, I did unlock an achievement just now. I'm I'm capturing gameplay, and unfortunately, the Steam pop-ups don't count as that. If I was if I was counting if I was capturing desktop, I probably would. But unfortunately, my achievements don't actually pop up on stream. Spends a lot of time trying to get the rare fish in Harvest Moon. Rare fishes in Harvest Moon were always fun, yeah. Stardew Valley did a really good job of having rare fish, too. That's good. There are different fish. It doesn't list them anywhere, though. Oh, okay. Interesting. It's literally jumping in the water and grabbing them with your bare hands. Is there no fishing rod in Skyrim? Oh, my God. Wow. Did you see Did you see the interview about Starfield? And someone asked them if there's going to be fishing in Starfield. And Todd Howard was basically like... No. <laughs> no. Why would we do that? Fuck off, Todd Howard. I want space fishing. I don't know of a game that that lets you spa like space fish. The closest to that would be, I guess, Final Fantasy XIV, which we're gonna be playing later tonight. But it's not it's like sky fishing. It's not it's not space fishing. Oh, there is, there is a fishing rod in Skyrim now, for the anniversary edition. Okay. Not sure that I've been particularly drawn to a specific game's fishing, but I can't recall. That's that's fair. I mean, it's a very weird thing to try to think of. <laughs> that's for sure. Unless you're very uh, into fishing games. Oh, that's so much faster. I love that. Subnautica, that's alien fish. I got you should, you could count that, I suppose. You can only catch a very small amount of fish in Subnautica though. Naturally, when I when I was asking about what games people thought I should include in the subathon, Subnautica came up. But we we re-explored Subnautica already this year, so I, I didn't want to do it again. That is kind of like space fishing, but it, you're, you're fishing on a planet, so it's not really fishing in space, you know what I mean? It's fishing on a different planet. So it's, it's the closest thing I think we've got to space fishing so far. But I still want to see, you know, open up the side of your shuttle, throw your rod out into space and fish that way. That's what I want to see. I want to see actual space fishing. I need to bring these to the owl. I keep forgetting, and I keep selling them, and it's not good. Shark bait! Ooh, ha uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> Been trying to match up my hoo-ha-has. Actually, we'll wait until the trees respawn again. I see the alert in chat uh, like a second or two before the actual sound plays, so it gives me it gives me a little, if I'm paying attention, it gives me enough of, enough time to prepare myself. Ugh. Without that second delay, though, I don't uh, it wouldn't be as uh, as quick. Picking some bananas. We need five grapefruits. We've got three. So what we'll do is we'll harvest the trees. We'll go deliver everything to the owl. And then by the time we get back, the last grape grapefruit should be ready. We've got enough now to plant the other two trees that we're missing too. So we can do that as well. I hate that they're not going to be all on the same island though. It'd be such a pain. But we can just do this now, so it's fine. Hi, Jelly Bean. Hi, the lighthouse. 
Hello, Nigel. I got three new items for you. Enjoy. Oh, he did take the grapefruit that time. Damn it. I swear he didn't take it last time. Okay, if we can get those last two trees planted somewhere. Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> Once these hatch... Hatch? Uh... <laughs> Once these... Flower? Fruit? Once they fruit. Once these trees fruit, we can uh, finish off our next backpack upgrade as well. We'll go collect the grapefruit first, though, so that, that resets the time. I'm min-maxing so much here. We're going to go grab a grapefruit so that resets the timer, so that by the time we bring the grapefruit back up there to get those two more fish uh, fruit. <laughs> by the time we we come back from doing that, then, then the final grapefruit will be ready. Oh, my goodness. Because those true trees should be grown by now. Nope. Not yet, but shortly. I guess I didn't really... Because I didn't look into this game at all before I decided to play this today. And I saw Fishing Garden, and I was like, oh, okay, fishing. Didn't really consider garden. <laughs> Whoa! Look at that pineapple. I love him. And then this one. Tom, Tom, Tomarillo. Uh, yes, I have been purposefully putting off playing Dave the Diver, but uh, we are going to jump into that. Uh, that's actually going to be the finale of tomorrow evening, I think. We're going to be playing some Dave the Diver. Finally, I've been waiting so long to play it. Thanks, uh, shout out to Game Nut for buying it for me. Um, I've seen very, very little, but I've heard only good stuff, and I cannot wait to try it out. So tomorrow night, very much looking nut. forward to it. I might not. We'll see. I've heard it's very, very good. It's very, very up my alley, so I'm looking forward to that. By Gaia's Golden Light, look at all these specimens. A true devotee to the pursuit of knowledge. It's my honor to upgrade your backpack once more. 27. Cool. And more. More. He wants more. The field journal is nearly complete. Only nine entries remain. Bring them to me, and I promise to make your backpack so deep you may get lost if you fall inside. Okay. Yeah, we've got all the trees now. Done. So it is just the last few fish, and in order to get those last few fish, I'm assuming we just need to complete the quests here. How much is this going to be? 1250? Oh. <laughs> Come on. Go sell something. Capybaras, please. Go sell something, my precious capybaras. Come on, we're so close. I could be Ah, there he is. Okay. Increase the distance. Whoa. Cool. Finally, a new fishing hole. That's good to see. I haven't really done much fishing lately. Oh, he wants new fish. Good stuff. Uh, Luna's got a new quest for us as well. Amazing. Uh, the grapefruits are done. This will. I guess this will speed up our balloons even more. All right, Sam. Sweet, juicy, fruity goodness. Thank you, Cassie. I feel as guy, I feel as if guy herself cradled and nourished me. Here for you. Balloons are even faster now. I must say, you have quite an eye for quality produce. Perhaps a career as a merchant is in your future. No more quests. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, okay. What quest do you have for me? I have all that. Gustav is a remarkably gifted carpenter, and he really likes it clean. I'm sure you won't mind cleaning up the debris around his island, please. Yeah, no problem. Oh, by the way, have you put the old cap? Have you put the capybaras and keys to work yet? If you haven't, you should. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. I've asked the capybaras. What about keys? Sorry. I don't know what that means. Hello, Jellybean. What fish could I get for you today? Alrighty, Squirt. Time to tick things up a notch. This last leg of challenges separates the small fry from the master angler. I need you to catch two beta and two koi. If you know your way around these waters by now, you won't have a problem. I can do that, yeah. I, I totally forgot about the upgrades here as well. Let's just, let's just go mad. Let's just go mad on upgrades. We can have a fully upgraded rod after after a thousand. Um, okay, so we need two beta, right? Is that what you said? And two koi. It goes over this way. This is where the beta and koi are. Or the beta, at least. We might not have seen the koi one yet. Yeah. We'll grab the two betas while we're here. And then we'll move forward and see what the new place that we just unlocked looks like. There's a carpenter there, so I'm assuming that's probably what unlocks here. We might be able to build some stuff. fish on. One of the other games that I was really hoping to get into the marathon uh, was Fortnite because Fortnite had that whole massive update where they introduced fishing um, and I was so excited because I had the idea the other night while I was streaming and I was like, oh my god, I'll get Sassy to join me we'll do, we'll finally do the Sassy and Swirly, play Fortnite stream, but we'll, we'll just fish a bunch and it'll be so funny Turns out that they took out all of the fishing stuff like most of it You can still fish but there's only like a few fish and they, the fishing journal has been removed and all this kind of stuff. And I was like, man, well, that's no fun. I don't want to do that anymore. And there's like no way to access that old content, which, which really sucks. Is that our... Okay, that's our first beta. So Epic, you gotta put, you gotta put the fishing stuff back in, please. I would, I would, I would sign up for the battle pass if I got rewards for fishing in Fortnite. I absolutely would. Clear divine, how's it going, my dude? Four twenty swallows it. Wait, sure, why not? Why not? Why not? Where is he? Welcome back, Mel. Welcome back, Mel. How goes your day? Did you get your errands done? How's your day going, Clear Divide? Happy Friday. I keep forgetting it's Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. Okay, that's the two betas that we needed. We can move on now to the new place. All done? Heck yeah. I love it when the errands are done. Oh, look at this man! Look at this guy. There's a cave. Oh, is there cave fishing? That'll be fun. That would be fun. Got a lot of cleaning up to do, though. Not bad, dude. I have to head to work just shortly for the night. Oh, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Busy down there uh, these days, yeah. George Street Fest is around the corner as well. Oh my goodness. 
Hello, sir. Nice to meet you. My poor immaculate bridge. That storm just came in. Whoop. Unbelievably rude. Bridges are art. Who hates art so much that they feel compelled to destroy? Storms? Ah, never trusted storms. You, yes, hi. The bridge, my bridge. To the Gardener's Island is out. We must rebuild it at once. To do that, I'll need timber. An irresponsible amount of timber. And fish to restore my strength, obviously. Well, don't just stand there. There's carpentry to be done. Carpentry! Timber! Advanced resources gained from nests. What does that mean? George Street Fest started last night. Oh, shit. I didn't realize it was that early. Oh, my God. George Street Fest started last night, and the regatta is also this Wednesday. Oh, my God. The tourism. We are going to have to kill the storm. Sorry, storm. You've been murdered. Ah! Ah! There's birds! A kia nest helps gather fruit from the trees. A kiwi, a more pork, and a takahi. I love these. This is better than anything I could have thought that was going to be unlocked in this game. This is so much better, by far. Regatta is on Wednesday, which is the last day of the festival. I'm gonna need a nap. I'd imagine so, dude. You're gonna you're gonna be spent. You're gonna be spent. I did ask for today off, so I'm hesitant to ask for a little leaving early on Wednesday, but I think I think myself and John do want to go down. I, I would like to go down to the regatta. Look at that cash. Look at that cash. Now, where do I put Burb? Where does Burb live? Where does Burb live? Here? Bird live here? Yes. But he's probably only going to grab the fruit from those trees. And I want him grabbing the fruit from these trees over here. I wonder if there's space for a bird nest in between there. Ah, oh, there is. Excellent. Oh, there's plenty of space for bird nests over here. Excellent. Now, do you auto sell as well, just like the capybaras? Please go back and sell. Please go back and sell. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to make so much money. We're going to make so much stinking loot. This game is very fun. Yeah. I'm, I'm enjoying this quite a bit. Um, granted, I do... Well, a Amber did say it is kind of short. Which is fine. Which is fine. Um, we need to check check out this new fishing fishing location. We haven't caught a single one here yet. We need we need at least two koi, which I'm assuming you can get from here. Oh my god. These these are harder now. Koi? Oh my god. Oh boy. I got a big lad. Goodness gracious, he's Lord. Lord Trend. What else is going to be here, I wonder? I'm thinking now we probably don't go into that cave. That's probably just where that guy lives. Makes sense. A salmon. I like a salmon. Another salmon. We gotta find the koi. There you go. Perfect. Speak of the devil. And a fish will appear. As the quote usually says. Wah. Another sunfish. We gotta get one of every one. We've decided that we're gonna go for the magnet run on this, by the way. Uh, because it's a shorter game, I think it's totally doable. So we're going to go for the... We're going to go for the magnet. Rainbow trout. Very good. Last one. What's it going to be? 
A puffer fish. Oh, what a handsome lad. What a handsome guy. Handsome little guy. All right. They all need to be donated for science. They all need to be donated for science. Hello, sir. I have your science. Uh, which means... Oh, man, there must be another fishing hole that we still haven't unlocked yet. There's four left. Four left that we haven't seen yet. One is definitely the ore fish. So, yeah, Nigel. He's so big. He's a large friend. Um, okay, I had to give away my koi. We still need to grab two koi. Also, we need to finish cleaning up this other island. I'm hoping I can jump over here with the balloons. Yeah. Oh, there's a bear. There's a bear in there. Apparently his name is Poppy, according to that achievement I just got. I can't speak with him, though. It's all right, little guy. You clean up this other island here, and then we'll... it later. We gotta get some more birds planted because we're not getting any timber. And we need timber. How much timber do we need? 50. And we got we got Nunty right now. Two koi. Two koi for Roy. That's not one. That's also not for Roy. Rainbow trout. I think the rainbow trout is really hard to get in Elm Crossing as well. Or the uh, golden trout, maybe? I think the golden trout is the one that's rare. Yeah. There's one koi. All right. Just one more. One more for old Jelly Bean. Uno mas. There it is. Beautiful. Jelly Bean will appreciate that quite a bit. Then we can get ourselves a kiwi. Nigel. Oh, you don't need it. Sorry, it's Jelly Bean. Literally was just saying it out loud. Old oh, Jelly Bean. Hello, sir. You did it already. Let's see. Only normal sized koi, eh? No, uh, giant varieties? Well, it was worth a shot. Ar, 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 ar. This be Prime Hall, little landlubber. Much obliged. I'll cook up your next challenge right after I cook up these fish. And don't you worry about Sam. Sure, I tried to catch him and eat him once upon a time, but we've long since buried the hatchet. Besides, there be too many witnesses. Oh my goodness, Jellybean. Calm down. Ahoy, Sprout! Ready for your next haul? Well, you better be, because old Jellybean's been going too easy on you. This time, you're going to have to reel in two salmon and an axolotl. That doesn't seem too tricky at all. In fact, I already have the two salmon. <laughs> there you go. The axolotls, where do they live? They live just over here, I think. Yeah, we've caught quite a few of these already. They're good little guys. I heard you like mud kips. That's not one, though. Wait, I've really got to get that kiwi egg down. There's the axolotl. All right, cool. Good. It knew. <laughs> it knew. 
Polywag Day on Sunday. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very excited about that. We may or may not get to partake. We may or may not get to participate. Do I have salt water in my eyes, or is that a genuine axolotl? Come here, little buddy. You tiny, ridiculously adorable sea beast. I'm not going to eat her last. This one's for looking. And the salmon's for cooking. Arr, 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 arr. Cool, good. Very good. Kiwi. Kiwi generates... Plus one timber for what, though? These generate money per second. This generates one timber... Per, per what? There's one way to find out. Does he conf convert stuff to timber? He's adorable. Oh, okay. He just slowly generates timber. He just kind of poop, poops a little bit. And then timber comes out. All right, cool. So the Kias are going to... Yeah, okay. And these guys must do the same thing as the... Kiwi's just better and faster. All right, well, let's get a few more bird nests down then to really maximize our timber generating abilities. Look at that. Look at all these birds. They're so cute. Oh, we'll let them just do their thing then, I guess. finish off this quest. I have to say, it's looking much better around here. Keep up the good work. More plants never hurt, human. Don't be shy about using those seeds. The garden needs to flourish. True. You didn't give me a quest to do that, though, so I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not going to. I mean, I suppose for the sake of more money, we could put down a few more watermelons and stuff like that. Put down, let's put down another capybara house. Let's get some more capybaras out on the seas, helping us out. And then maybe we'll put down another clam, just to generate more pearls for the capybaras. And maybe another, a new watermelon. Just kind of floating. There we go. They came all the way over here just for the crab pot. Thank you guys. And now we're just waiting on the timber. Oh. Wait. No, you want the timber. I don't have enough timber to give you yet. We've got everything else done. The four secret fish, I can't... We can't do that yet, because... We fished everything in all of our fishing holes. So I guess we just need to progress the quests along a little bit more. We're going to have to do something with these flowers as well. Apparently they're like bro uh, uh, withered Gaia sprouts or something. So we're going to need to regrow them or something, I bet. It is a perfect game. I agree. Would highly recommend. I wouldn't recommend this if you if you want to sit down and spend days and days and days at this. But... um. For the most part, I say, give it a go. Ah, yes, that's the stuff. Now stand back and witness the master craftsman at work. It's done, and the bear came out. It's so perfect, it's almost tragic, like poetry in bridge form. Gustav, you are a genius. Look, the gardener has already given up the bridge, given the bridge its maiden crossing. Oh, the bear's the gardener, that makes sense. Or is that a mouse? Hello? Are you a mouse or are you a bear? I like your hat. Oh, hello. I'm Poppy. Like the singer? I started to think I'd never get off my island. Oh no. This is bad. They're all saplings. That storm turned all the elms back into saplings. Gaia's very being is tied to them so they can never be destroyed, but still. I'm supposed to protect them and I didn't. Please, nice human girl. Can you give me a ride on your boat to each sapling? I can't swim, and I have a fear of balloons. Mel! They put you in the game! 
But I don't know if you can swim. They put you in the game. Come on. Hop in. Your boat is kind of tiny right now. Maybe you could ask Gustav to help you since you helped him and all. Oh, we gotta get a new boat. Have you returned to revel in this vanishing reptile's radiance? Ah, you want a bigger boat? Well, I usually don't take commissions, but I suppose I can make an exception for you. My unyielding generosity knows no bounds. Fetch this artiste the materials he needs, and he'll give you life. He'll give life to a masterpiece. A hundred timber. Okay. Well, that's just a waiting game. This guy's giving Elliot from Stardew. Oh yeah, I uh, yeah. Artist and whatnot. Yeah, I can see that. Very fancy. Just wants to create. Just wants to make and and consume. Where are you going? He's off to grab the um the veggies. What if we put down another Takehe? Just to spit speed up our um. our uh, lumber production a little bit more even so. Get another one down here maybe? It's just a bird sanctuary at this point. Don't worry, Poppy. We'll have we'll have you out of here in no time and those trees will be big and sparkly. There must be one more fishing hole, like over this way, that has four more fish in it or something. Being a bird sanctuary is fine. I 100% agree. I would love to go to a bird sanctuary and just walk around. Seems like such a good time. We just wait here for that lumber to tick up to 100 and we are groovy. We have those here, do we really? The, uh, the puffin sanctuaries and stuff, I suppose, yeah. We went to one, um, kind of, because you can't you can't go over onto Gull Island, but you can look at Gull Island. No, I think you're right. Cape St. Mary's, I think, is a bird sanctuary. John actually mentioned it fairly recently, I think, towards the beginning of the summer. I'd like to get out there at some point. I think it would be fun. Make me a new boat. This will do nicely. Very good. Here we go. To you, it's merely a boat, but to me, it's my canvas. I've done it again. A flawless fusion of function and form. You wanted a boat? Ha! I gave you a tour de force. You can, thanks me. you can thank me later. Really, I insist. Now go on. Don't keep Poppy waiting. Oh, we've got new quests as well. Hmm. You know, while building your boat, one thing I hadn't considered was speed. If you fetch me the materials, I may be able to remedy that. And let's be perfectly clear, there is nothing wrong with my design, which, mind you, brings a tear to my eye every single time I catch a glimpse of you paddling by. Whoever said perfection can't be improved upon has never meant this crafty gecko. <laughs> now less basking, more bringing me the stuff I need. Okay, 200 to speed up our boat. But that's, again, that's a passive thing, so that's fine. Gustav really knows his way around a hammer. Your boat's so much bigger and prettier now. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Oh boy. Ooh, deep breaths. Don't cry. No, you've got this. You've got this, Poppy. It's fine. We're gonna save the forest or whatever. Look, there's one there. Ooh, uh, I guess that wasn't so bad. Thanks for the ride, Cassie. Now let's see what we have here. This won't do at all. Gaia thrives when the elms thrive, and well, this is the opposite of thriving. I'm sorry to ask, but I'm going to need lots of timber to make this work. And fruit for energy, if that's okay. What? Driving Miss Poppy. She needs five Feoja. Is it Feoja? Now, I've got birds auto-selling those fruit. Do I need to... 
Do I need to stay next to the tree and harvest it myself to stop the bird? I think I do. Uh-oh. Now the birds have become a problem. Don't sell my fruit! Don't sell it, I need it! Don't, don't, don't! Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, we'll just wait here until we gather five. Our wood is increasing in uh, uh, numbers as well, which is great. Oh my. I feel like we've made a lot of progress on this game. Pretty, pretty quickly. Sorry, what about wood increasing? Our wood is currently increasing at a consistent rate. <laughs> it's pretty good. We'll have 200 wood in no time. The fruit, on the other hand... Stay away from this fruit. I love my birds, but they better stay away. Get, go on. How's the fishing going, Zimby? You enjoying? Did you catch any? <laughs> I guess is a better question. Have you, have you caught any fish? What, what, what's everybody's go-to fishing game? I think I asked this already, but like, if you were to sit down and fish in a video game, Zimby's already doing it in Skyrim. What, what's, what's everybody else's go-to? Forgot you were in the middle of a dungeon. Oh, no. <laughs> Gotta finish that first, I suppose. Gotta get the legendary sword at the end. Just to have it stolen by some other some other guy. Nearly level 100 in Neopets fishing. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. That's a solid go-to. You can only fish so many times a day in Neopets, right? Is that what that is? Can't you... Can't you, like, accidentally fish up, like, pirate-themed furniture and all that kind of stuff, too? That's, really, that's always really cool. Only once per, per pet per day. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Later on, while I'm uh, while I'm gobbling down some supper, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll do our neo pets fishing once a day. Maybe we'll uh, have a look. We will be doing a chat votes poll on where I eat supper tonight. It's going to be fish and chips either way. But uh, it'll be up to you guys whether or not it's from Chess's or from Keith's. And I know there are some pretty strong opinions. Now, I think th those are both very local chains. So anybody that's not from here might not have much to go on in that vote, in that poll. But, um, you know, you can just decide whether or not you want to side with one group or the other. <laughs> Mel is very insistent that it's going to be Keith's, which, I mean, I guess we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Let's go upgrade our boat. We've got the wood now. Let's go upgrade our boat while we wait for that fruit to respawn. Keith's, Keith's would definitely be warmer and less soggy by the time it gets here than uh, Chess's. Because Chess's is a lot farther away than Keith's is. But again, I'm, I like both, so. Tomorrow's gonna be the really interesting one. Tomorrow is Asian Cafe versus Sushi Island and I don't know what I like on their menus. I know there's at least one thing on each of the menus that I'm worth I'm willing to try, but not really a sushi guy, so. We'll see. That's the ticket. Every piece of timber, every bristle of the brush on my soul. Your boat is even faster now. And just like the other quests, there's going to be three or four levels of this. I'm probably going to need 300 wood and then 400 wood. 
A faster boat. 500. Okay. We're not going to be going for that one. Because I think Poppy also needs lumber, so. Yeah, Chess's is still pretty close, yeah. Chess's is still fairly close. I don't think Keith does. Keith's is more difficult to order from as well. They've got online ordering, but I couldn't get it to work before. Um, and they're not on, like, DoorDash or Skip, I don't think. So it is a little bit more of a pain to order from them, but... It's only a quick call up the road. Not a big deal. Don't touch that tree! Cool. Can you imagine if you could send a bird out to, like, just go sell all your stuff? <laughs> that would be so good. few places in paradise only have delivery through their own store doordash custom order run oh yeah I, I imagine so yeah it's just too bad i don't mind not paying the doordash fees though that that's a nice plus oh my god she needs 500 timber as well okay well i guess we're waiting here for that to tick up to 500 oh boy I'm starting to understand why Amber may have used some commands to uh, speed up these processes. I don't need money, so there's no point for me to continue fishing. I just need the lumber. I could put down some more birds, I suppose, but there's a lot of birds already. Never hurt. There's going to be a, a lot of this one specific kind of bird. We'll put a we'll put another another friendly friendly friend down there. Maybe we'll we'll give we'll give this island to this one kiwi. He gets his own island all to himself because he's freaking adorable. I love him. I love him. Imagine looking at a kiwi and thinking, nah, that's not cute and the best thing in the world. Kiwis and dodos. I love them. I love them both. Fantastic birds. Very good birds. Um, if you'll allow me, I am going to take a quick five minute break. I've got some pizza pockets that I'm going to quickly shove in the microwave for a little quick little lunch. And uh, I will be back. We'll let the uh, lumber tick up while we're gone. And I will be back in a second. Just give me a minute. Do you guys want BRB screen or do you want to watch the birds fly around? What would you prefer? <laughs> what would you prefer? Burb? Okay, good idea. All right. Back in a second. Hello there. I was just waiting for the pizza pockets to finish and I just heard, hello there, in my headset. It's like, oh God, who's this man? Oh, Rogue. Hello there. What are you doing? Where's my face? This one? Nope. This one? There it is. <clears throat> How we doing, my friend? No, it wasn't you. <clears throat> but it was just good timing, I guess. Speaking of good timing, look! We've got our 500 lumber that we needed. And now I've got a bit of a snack as well. How's your day going, uh, Rogue? Good day so far? Happy Friday. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Bit of a bit of a rough start, but we're, I'm having a great time now. We've been having a chill fishing day. So far, so good. Whoa! You're incredible. It's looking better than ever, I've got to say. The elms may be all on separate islands, but the roots are connected way underground. Guy taught me, th taught me that a super long time ago. Let's head over to the next one. Stop by the lighthouse if you still need to. I'll just uh, get back on that lovely boat. Okay. Uh, 
I don't think I can go to the lighthouse yet. I'm not sure. He is very proud of himself. I just walked by him and he, he just gave me a big yawn as if to say, ah, oh, John, what are you stressed out about? I'm having a chill day. I'm having a great day. Uh, it's been all right. It's also been very good. Enjoy Tales of the Kingdom. Yeah, enjoy. Make sure to catch a fish or two. Make sure to catch a fish or two. Oh. I've done all of Sam's quests. Two more for Jellybee. There must be one fishing hole left. You're finally finishing it. That's so good. Oh my god. I, I will start it eventually. <laughs> Know the best way to catch fish in Tears of the Kingdom? Use amiibo? Any amiibo? Because uh, you could use amiibo in Breath of the Wild for the same thing, right? Sorry. Uh, not paying attention. Where is the sprout? Most amiibo? Because I, I sold a lot of mine. I think I kept my Animal Crossing ones, but I don't have any more than that. Okay, that's where that one is. Uh, some give meat, some give shrooms. Oh, okay, just a assortment of items, I guess, yeah. Cool. That's good to know. That is good to know. Alright, same deal here, Cass. Is it alright if I call you Cass? Anyway, could you please bring some more fish this time? And a little more timber? You're just way better than I am at non-gardening stuff. Okay. Uh, 15 fish. How much timber is she gonna want? She's gonna want 700 fisher. F tim fish. Timber. I'd like 6,000 timber, please. Mwah. Off the lark. Thank you so much, uh, Rogue, for the lark. Enjoy. Have a good day. Um, you've got all the amiibos still. Two nests, one still in the packaging. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Yeah, you guys, you guys, you've got them all out in a display, right? It's a very nice display. Our friend Ross has them all as well. Um, but I, I think... Yeah, no, he's, he's got a display as well. Oh, yes, that's right. Not in the new house. No, yeah, yeah, the old display. All right. You get the basement dumb, we'll take all that stuff out again. Nice, cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Have you bought any of the new amiibos, or do you just have like all the Smash ones? Because there have been new Smash ones released, hasn't there? Did you get the like DLC characters and stuff? Base game Smash ones. Oh, I see, okay. I only just thought about that and just now, actually. I kind of want to get... I want the Banjo one. I want a Banjo-Kazooie amiibo. Hell yeah. I'd like to rebuild... I had to sell my amiibos when I was unemployed because I was unemployed and couldn't find a job and had no money to pay rent. So I had to sell a bunch of my stuff. I'd love to rebuild my amiibo collection. At some point. I don't know if I'd try to like get all the Smash ones or anything like that. I think I'd try to get just the just the ones that I like the most, you know? All the characters from games that I like and whatnot. You did it again! Time for me to do my part. Oh, she didn't need lumber this time. That's good. Ah, oh, she's 750! <sighs> the new DLC ones are still coming out. Pyra and Mithra. Thank you, Game Nut, for doing that for me. Just came out the other week. Oh, okay. So, when when did... Is that before or after Banjo? That's just... Jeez, that's a slow release. Who's left? Hero? The hero... Uh, Steve? Is Steve out? I'd probably get Steve, just because that's fucking hilarious. I think I still think, hands down, best character ever added into Smash was Minecraft Steve, because that's so funny. 
I, st I haven't played him yet. <laughs> Long after Banjo? Nice, okay. Yeah, I've just, I've lost all concept of time. Especially when it comes to Smash, because I still play it. Okay. Aww. <laughs> My mouth was full of pizza pocket. It's still too hot to eat, though. Oh. Oh, me mouth. I wish... Uh, what, what if we go to the White House? Can I... Is there something that I can progress that I just haven't noticed yet? Nope. Nope. Timber... Unique items, which I can't get yet. Actually, let's go talk to Nigel. It's just Sora left. Oh, okay, cool. I forgot Sora was in the game. Goodness. He's from Kingdom Hearts. Oh, that made me really excited to think about for a second. And then I remembered that they had the opportunity to put in... To put Goofy in Smash, and then they didn't. Now I'm just mad again. I'm just angry. Put Goofy and Smash. There's four fish left. But I don't have any fishing holes left. So I get I I guess we just need to keep going with these timber timber quests. If this this if this one is seven fifty, the next one is surely going to be a thousand. We're just going to be waiting around for so long. Again, I've got so much money. What's to stop me from just putting birds everywhere? <laughs> What's to stop me from just putting birds everywhere? I said I was going to give the kiwi his own island, but I lied. I had to, I'm sorry. This is fine. He has friends now, exactly. He's not as alone. He was so alone before. Now he'll never be alone again. No matter how much he wants to be. He'll never be alone again. I don't think I could physically put down any more birds. Ah! <laughs> more land! Must put down birds! Birds! Birds for wood. That's all they do, yeah. They just collect wood. That's it. It's their only job. Their only purpose. What is my purpose? You collect wood. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll have to keep my eye out for um, amiibos. Mel, we really should try to do at least one yard start sometime this year. Like, take one Saturday and try to hit up as many yard starts as we can. What the hell is that? Did you just take my picture? Or was I going too fast? Maybe, I mean, we could, like, we could take Ren Fair Day and turn that into Ren Fair Yard Start Day. You know what I mean? Go to the Ren Fair for an hour or two, however long you spend at a Ren Fair. And then spend the rest of the day looking at Yard Starts. Or we can do both as separate things. Two different Saturdays. I feel like we gotta act fairly quick, though, because I feel like any yard sales that may happen may have already happened. Or may be happening sooner than later. Zimby, yes! Yes! Um, there's one happening in Paradise. I've never been to a Ren Fair before, and Mel mentioned it to me, and I was like, yes, absolutely. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. 
I've always wanted to go to one. I just want a big. Uh, I just want to eat a massive le uh, tur le turkey leg. That's all I want. Ooh, this one's purple. Halfway there. That sprout in your head reminds me a lot of these saplings. Ooh, am I Gaia? Is that the plot twist? Guess boats aren't so bad now. If only I could cure my debilitating globophobia. Is that what fear of balloons is called? Cool. The more you know. Hi, Sam. Kind of scared the shit out of me again. Kind of, I forgot you were there, if I'm honest. Where's the other sprout? Do I not have him unlocked yet? Oh, visit the White House. Okay, now we can finally <clears throat> progress a little bit. Extend the lighthouse, yes. There's that sapling. Is it still happening in September? Uh, the Ren Fair? Uh, no, I think it's just a weekend long event, unfortunately. No, it doesn't seem to be like a like a weeks long event. It's just a few a few days. Sadly. But don't worry, Zibby. We're, we're, we'll, we'll go out and do something when you're in town. I've got a bunch of coupons for the rec room, so I think we're, we'll probably head out to the rec room. Play some arcade games, drink some alcohol. And play some arcade games on somebody else's dime, which is most important. Alright, let's do some more cleanup. How much lumber is she going to want now? Thankfully, we've got more things to work on while the lumber builds up, so it's not going to be as bad. How much do you need? Just need some magic leaves, please. I know it's a lot to ask, but if it helps, you're the best leaf gatherer I've ever met. Okay, 5,000. Not bad. I got money coming out my butts. I'm a fan of arcade games and alcohol. Good, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm going to try to get a few hands to join us as well. Hopefully John will join us and uh, Mel and Kate. Whoever wants to come out. Because I think um, it's a Saturday you're going to be in town, right? In September. I think it's like, I think it's two weeks after the Pasta Bowl ends. So I think we'll have our Saturdays free again. Go hang out with, uh, with Zimby. I'm assuming he's going to want to me to clean up a bunch of stuff again. I have met Sam, yeah. Perhaps ridding the waters around him of Debris will also clear his mind. Yeah, maybe. I have all that stuff, too. It's a Saturday that I fly out, right? So probably that Friday night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I've got it marked on my calendar. I just don't have my calendar in front of me right now. <laughs> yeah, so we'll do something. All right, I don't have $5,000 to give you just yet, but I will. Let me just clean this up for Sam. More, look at all this room for birds. <laughs> look at all this room for birds. What was that? Why did that bleep? Did I, did I win? So much room for bird-related activities. I agree. If I had to hear about his flying ship nonsense one more time. You wouldn't know a storm tore it apart not long ago. I suppose a person really can make a difference. You're right, yeah. I've regrown this whole area. What are you talking about? Shall we go catch the last four fish? I don't know if I'm going to actually put birds here or not. I wanna, I'll, we'll leave it open for now because I don't know what else to expect. I feel like the game is just about over, but I, I, I don't know. I could be wrong. If I have as much courage as you have magic leaves, 
Anyway, here I go. Yeah, thousand wood, like I thought. But look, we're almost there. Fibs. Yeah, that does appear to be the point of the weekend. Exactly, yeah. I didn't expect so much other stuff in this game. Um, I thought it was going to be mostly fishing, but it's been fun. It's been fun. We've been we've been doing all the fish stuff, you know. All my crotchet ends are tucked in. Going to do a little more now. Excellent. Nice. Uh, enjoy. I'm going to enjoy some pizza pocket while we wait for this to get to 1,000. delicious. Hello. Take this wood. Three down, one to go. Just hang on, Gaia. We're almost there. As long as that fog's clear, no other saplings should be hiding from us. I guess Gaia's gonna owe us one when this is all over. <laughs> right? Back to the lighthouse. We're gonna need a lot of money to finish this, I think. Um, Alright, so let's let's do some fishing. Let's get the last four fish. Because this should also give us our final backpack upgrade, which will also help in the, in the long run. I don't give a carp. One of these is probably also the ore fish, which is very exciting. I can't wait to see it come out of the water. Who doesn't love an ore fish? Red snapper, Animal Crossing staple. You love to see it. And a tuna. Another big, big lad, but not the oarfish that we're looking for. Come on, oarfish. Oarfish are great. They're f terrifying. They are absolutely terrifying. Oh, <laughs> yes! Let's go! Look at him! Look at how big! <laughs> He's so big! Oh, my great googly moogly. What's the scariest fish you know about? I mean, there's some pretty terrifying under under the sea ones. Angler fish are pretty terrifying. Uh, I mean, the oar fish is pretty scary. Probably one of those. I'm I'm sure there's scary ones that I just can't think of right now. But uh, there's there's some terrifying stuff when once you get down pretty deep. Hello, sir. Can it be? Is my beloved field journal truly complete? I I don't know what to say. Shree! I'm humbled by your tenacity and sheer passion for education. I'm proud to upgrade the backpack of a bona fide scholar. That better be 30. 30 better be our max. Now, I must say, after all my years of research, you are by far the most fascinating creature I've encountered. Many thanks, Cassie. 30, let's go. Let's go. What about you, Zimby? Do you know of any any overly spookifying fish? Fibs? The fish in Australia that looks like a rock and hides, and if you so much as graze one, you're 100% dead from a painful neurotoxin? Yeah! Those are also pretty terrifying. Yep. And there are quite a few of those. Giant squid, not really a fish, but still. No, also still, yeah, nope. Still pretty damn terrifying. Nearing the end of me challenges, Cassie. Hope you're ready, because I made these last ones a couple of doozies. I need two red snappers, a puffer fish, and a rainbow trout. That's right, all of them. They be the main ingredients in me famous triple fish chowder. Okay. Let's check out the lighthouse first. Let's see what the lighthouse needs from us in order to... Progress the story. Let's do it. There's the final sapling. So much more room for birds. I mean, for all we know, the Kraken could be real, right? It could exist. It could be down there somewhere. Hanging out. 
been watching you helping the other spirits, clearing the fog and restoring my garden. Your deeds have not gone unnoticed. A bit of debris remains near an island with one of the four sections. I'm sure you've come to know what role they play in all of this. Please get rid of the remaining debris so we may do what needs to be done. I will. In fact, I will walk there. The fang tooth is pretty scary. Biggest teeth compared to body size of any fish. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's do a quick... Fang fish? Huh. Yep. Yep. That's pretty terrifying. That's a big mouth. I, I would, I, I mean, you could easily confuse that for a, for an angler. Very spoopy. No light bulb, though. It's like an angler without the light bulb. We love a good blobfish as well. Not scary, but just a friend. We are a friend to the blobfish. Is this scrap, I wonder? No, it is. We will finish cleaning. Get all this gunk dug up while our money and our lumber increases. <laughs> they do look a lot less weird when, when, they, uh, when they're actually in the water where they're supposed to be. Yeah, they look like a, a fairly normal fish. It's just that one picture of the one just on a on a table or whatever. They're just they're just little guys. They're just trying their best. Making their way through the world, you know. There's some pretty um pretty colorful jellyfish and stuff like that too. We got to see some when we were out at the uh, Ontario Aquarium. That was cool. Some pretty snazzy looking jellyfish. Some that look like your average jellyfish, but some that are like just like circles, which just kind of float around. Th those were weird. Sam just scared the shit of me again, man. Oh my god. Hey, I finished cleaning up. My garden. It's beautiful. Is this really how it looked before the storm hit? There's probably a few more birds than there was beforehand, but you know. It's even better than ever. Ah, yes. This is quite satisfactory. You've done well to aid me. I only hope you've given the other spirits the same attention. With no debris to worry about, you could focus your energy on the garden, the spirits, penis. and finding... And penis. <laughs> you could focus your energy on the garden, the spirits, and penis! I don't know who did that. I came up as anonymous. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Clean up the archipelago. Done. Okay, we need some fish. Let's bring Poppy to the elm tree. We need to see what she needs first. Let's see what she needs next. Anonymous penis! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tend to not want those. <laughs> okay, we need two red snappers as well, so let's grab those while we're here. An ore fish. Okay, good. Uh, I'm assuming she's probably going to want maybe like 1,500 lumber or maybe 10k in money. I don't know. I'm expecting quite a bit. With all those birds working away, it's not, not taking much time now to get wood. There's one. You can tune a piano. Two red snappers. Okay, where is the puffer fish? Must be back this way. Puffer fish. I hardly know her. Rainbow trout. We might we might come across rainbow trout sooner. Where's the rainbow trout? Same place as the pufferfish, maybe. I 
Well, Capybaras, thank you for your hard work and effort. Next one over. Hi, Gustav. Puffer fish, rainbow trap. Okay, both of them are here. Puffer fish. Whoop. 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 Remember, wow. We got Im exactly what we needed immediately. Very good. I think this is Jelly Bean's second last quest, so maybe we'll hold off on Jelly Bean's final quest and try to make that our final quest, because it is the fishing quest line. <laughs> so maybe we'll leave that as the finale. Or, you know what? We should probably try to finish it before we save Gaia, because that might be what ends the game. You've got every one, every last one. Mighty fine work, lass. Doesn't get any fresher than this. With these, I can whip up a batch of chowder that'll make me mother proud. I knew I left me old rod in good hands. We've got one more upgrade to get to. This is it, the final challenge. You've been all over these waters, and now it's time you land the biggest of the big ones. I'm talking about the elusive ore fish. Catch one of those behemoths, and you'll be the queen of the sea. I've got one already. <laughs> I've got one just here. Just here in my pockets. Here you go. Someone drop an anchor on me head. That there's an aura fish. The real deal. Or should I say, the real deal. Ar, 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 ar. I got nothing left to teach you, lass. If anything, I could learn a thing or two from ye. Thank you for everything, little landlubber. And if you ever see that Sam on your travels, tell him old Jellybean says, Ahoy. He wants to eat Sam. He wants to eat one of the other spirits. Because he's a fish. Sam is a tasty snack, but Sam scares the shit out of me every time he pops out of the water. <laughs> but he's he's a nice guy, so we, we won't feed him to jelly bean. Here we go, Poppy. Fight destroy, please. The final sapling. Oh boy, oh jeez. You go on and gather some tamarillos. I just, I think I, I need a bit. Of, of course. Of course. Well, here's what we're going to do. Welcome to Tamarillo Island. Because I am not, I am not waiting a minute and a half for each tamarillo to grow. That'd be what, 15 minutes? Waiting here for 15 minutes for vegetables, fruit to grow? No, 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 no. I will wait three minutes for ten of them to grow instead. Sam! Room for one more tree, too. Room for some more birds. Just eating again. My apologies. one of the birds doesn't just swing on by while all of these fruits grow. Take them all before I can. Ah! Go, go, go! Harvest, harvest! Yeah, yeah! Alright. Another minute and a half, and we're good to go. getting that dang magnet today. I was going to try for the bait VR magnet, but I had some trouble last night getting the audio to come through. 
when streaming from an Oculus. Um, so if I can't get that to work today, the hopes of me beating Bait VR are not very high. So, might as well beat this one instead, so I can still get a magnet. <laughs> and again, if some stuff doesn't work tomorrow or whatever, we can we can try the VR again. Still a few hours before um before we've got some guests joining us, so we might still be able to at least give it a try, get a get a start on Bait VR at least. We'll see. I wasn't like super, super excited to get a VR game included in this stream or anything like that, but I, I figured I'd take a look and uh, bait VR looked like kind of like a fishing sim, but cartoony and a bit more, more fun and enjoyable than like a realistic fishing simulator. And I sat down to try it just to give it a go and I immediately was like, yep. Yep, this is clearly the best VR fishing game that could ever exist. Like it's 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 a good time. So I'm I'm looking forward to I hope it works. Oh no. I gotta sell, I gotta sell. Before the bird steals my vegetables. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Buy my stuff. Thank you. Go, go, go. The bird's gone. Oh, no. Did you... T oh, did you just get back? I'm stealing my f vegetables. Wait. Oh, no. Okay, good. Ooh. There we go. All right. How much lumber is she going to need? Predictions. Get predictions in. 1,000? 1,500? 2,500? Hmm. I mean, of course you did. You're you. Five? I wish. Moment of truth. You can do this, Poppy. Don't mess this up. Ah, it was a thousand. Okay. All good. I did it. I really did it. We really did it. The elms are back to their former glory. And Gaia's power is almost fully restored. There's only one thing left to do. What? Luna! Ah, sorry. Luna, with the elms regrown, we've got a direct line to Gaia, and Luna knows how to use it. That fox can work wonders with her magic. You'll see. Anywho, let's get going, Cass. We don't want to keep Gaia waiting. No, we don't. Let's get going. Go, go, go. Hi, Sam. Bye, Sam. Hi, capybaras. Thank you for doing all my work for me. Hmm. I suppose there's no denying it any further. You've done some good around here, Cassie. Uh, thank you. And now it's time I did my part in all this. All right. Silence, please. This requires total concentration. By the earth. By the seas. By the skies. By the trees. Gaia. Awaken! Whoa! Whoa! That's a big duck! Oh my god, I was not expecting that. At long last, I have the honor of greeting the, the benevolent human who has given so much to this garden. Thank you, my child. The storm that brought you here, the one that devastated no. this garden. The storm that brought you here, the one that devastated this garden, it originally came from this world, not yours. I couldn't sit by and watch that storm swallow you up, Cassie. Your life is just as precious as the rest of ours. The, gar the garden can be repaired, but you, you cannot. In turn, with all my might, I use my power to connect our worlds, to bring the storm back here, and you along with it. And then I planted one of my seeds in your little head to protect you through the whole ordeal. As long as you carry it, you may walk in this world as your own, my child. Now that your work here is done, I can send you home whenever you wish. However, once I do, you'll never be able to return here again. I'll let you talk over your decision with Luna. Thank you again, my child. We're all forever in your debt. Well, I want to... F I guess I'll go speed up my boat before I go. Do 
I was, I'm pretty sure the goose literally just said, like, you can come and go here as long as you please, as long as you've got that flower on your head. And then immediately after, she's like, but if you leave, you can't ever come back again. I was like, what do you mean? You just told me. Gustav, I'd like a fast boat, please. Exactly what I needed. Now stand back. I can't be responsible for what happens when I'm creating. Quite nice, quite nice. I take your silence as dumbfounded adoration, which I graciously accept. However, I've grown invested, and I must see this through to the end. With one last batch of top lumber, timber, tumber, <laughs> I think I'll, I'll have our magnum opus. And it's only 800. Cool. At last! Do you have any idea how hard it is to contain this much genius within such a gorgeous skull? Hurry, hand it all over. It's done. My toil in the name of art has finally come to an end. A crowning achievement for me and a faster boat for you. Everyone wins, but I win more. Okay. Anyone who respects the art of carpentry the way you do earns a special place in my heart. Fine work, Cassie. Beautiful. I think we... I think we did everything. All Jelly Beans quests are done. All of Nigel's quests are done. All of Gustav's quests are done. All of Sam's quests are done. And then just finishing the game will be the last quest. See yeah, look at that. We did it. I maybe. We'll see. Bye, Nigel. Goodbye, Lighthouse. Goodbye, Capybaras. Goodbye, Jelly Bean. Goodbye, Sam. Well, I suppose this is it. Or rather, it doesn't have to be. That sprout allows you to exist in this world as if you were a spirit, Cassie. You can stay here forever if you want. You'd be most welcome among the spirits. And you'll have the freedom to reshape the garden as you see fit. But I know this isn't your home. You have friends, family, a whole life where you're from. It would be selfish of me. It would be selfish of me if you asked me to give it all up. I couldn't do that to a friend. Uh, I'll stay a bit longer. Does, do you not have a quest for me? I'm concerned that I'm about to miss. Oh, no. It's done. All right. Cool. We're out. Send me home. Send me home. Very well. I didn't think it would pain me so much to say goodbye, but here we are. You know, our time together was short, but I've grown to cherish you, Cassie. If I ever meet another human again, my only hope is that they're just like you. Please take care of yourself, just like you took care of me. And thank you for everything. Farewell, Kazzy. Goodbye. Credits? Credits? Whoa, what? There's a man. Credits! Yay! <laughs> we did it! All your friends saying goodbye. This game was made in Unity. Google Fonts. Very nice. Very good. Shervin Zade. Cool. Wow. Such a small team. Yay! Look how happy we are. Woohoo! We did it. Magnet for the fridge. Magnet for the fridge. All right. Well, now we're here. Now we're here again. Uh, let me just have a little pizza pocket real quick. <laughs>